You Good. must be nearly finished. It's because I broke my ankle. We had to shut down. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actor injuries that affected the movie. In this film, in the first fighting sequence, unfortunately, I hurt my knee and I needed a, um, ACL reconstruction, knee surgery. For this list, we'll be looking at times where film productions were delayed or changed because performers got hurt. We'll not be including incidents that resulted in fatalities. Which of these incidents shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Stallone takes a shot to the heart, Rocky IV. I must break you. Rocky Balboa may have helped to end the Cold War with his win over Ivan Drago, but actor Sylvester Stallone almost never lived to see it. When filming the big final fight, Stallone encouraged the former Swedish Marine and karate champion to go all out. Lundgren reluctantly obliged. When he arrived home from the set, Stallone felt as if something were wrong. When I did get in that ring, that guy broke things in me. It ain't never been fixed. He later learned that his heart had begun to swell. Stallone took an emergency flight from Canada to a hospital in California and spent at least four days recovering. The production naturally had to wait for the director and star to return to finish the fight. We don't stop. All your strength, all your power, all your love, everything you've got. Number nine, Michelle Yeoh damages her ACL. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. <laughs> Michelle Yeoh was cast in Ang Lee's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon on the merits of her acting and stunt talents. Unfortunately, soon after production began, she suffered a massive knee injury during a fight scene. In this film, in the first fighting sequence, unfortunately, I hurt my knee and I needed a, um, ACL reconstruction, knee surgery. Accidents happen. Before seeking treatment, Yeo and Lee decided to get one last shot in the can. Instead of running toward the camera across a rooftop, they pushed her in a wheelbarrow. This creative solution came before she had to get ACL reconstruction surgery. The production had to reschedule shoots for at least three weeks while Yo recovered. <laughs> she also filmed certain scenes from the waist up as she had to wear a big boot to protect her knee. Number eight, Charlize Theron severely injures her neck, Eon Flux. Ready? Always. While Charlize Theron is now widely known for her fantastic stunt work, her action career was put in jeopardy back in the 2000s. In Eon Flux, she played a lithe assassin who usually got her mark. Theron tried to do as many stunts as possible during the process. In one scene, her character launches into a series of backflips. During the stunt, Theron landed on her neck and herniated a disc near her spine. Later reports revealed that if she had fallen in a different position, she might have ended up being permanently paralyzed. Production shut down for almost two months while she recovered. Fortunately, Theron was able to return and continued starring in action-heavy roles. But in A in Flux, you almost got paralyzed. You fell on yeah. your head or something trying to do one of these wacky you know stunts. Why? Because I have no business doing back handsprings. Number seven, Larry Rippenkroger falls while doubling for Bruce Willis. Live free or die hard. Hey, are you really trying to escape? The Die Hard franchise has a history of onset injuries. In the first film, Bruce Willis permanently lost much of the hearing in his left ear thanks to a gunshot too close to his head. Hey John. John McClane, you still with us? Yeah. But few injuries were as intense as those suffered by Bruce's stunt double Larry Rippenkroger. During the production of Live Free or Die Hard, Rippenkroger was doing a scene on a fire escape when he fell 25 feet. The stuntman broke both wrists, facial bones, and suffered a deflated lung. Since he was an essential member of the crew, the production had to shut down until he could be replaced. And then finally I uh, got an opportunity. Bruce was looking for a new stunt double. Meanwhile, Willis paid for his double's folks to stay at a hotel near the hospital while their son recovered. Number six, Blake Lively breaks her hand, the rhythm section. You gotta get your rhythm section under control, like in music, remember? You give your heart as the drums. Yeah. When Blake Lively started an action-packed revenge film, she shot scenes where her character had to learn how to fight. At one point, she was getting a rough fighting lesson from Jude Law's Ian Boyd. The sequence was just as brutal behind the scenes. During the sequence, Lively broke her hand when she collided with Law's bone. No, I punched his elbow and my hand just like basically turned to like party confetti. It was just like <laughs> upon contact. Oh, and, um, In the end, she had to get surgery to repair dislocated bones and ligaments. It took a half a year for Lively to recover from her injuries and complete physical therapy. In the end, the production also had to work in a plot point where her character cut her hand to hide the reason why it was actually bandaged. You really left your mark on Tangier. You never told me about his protection. 
Number five, Jackie Chan gets a severe head injury, the armor of God. I've heard that you have a hole in your head from one of your stunts, is that true? Legendary action star Jackie Chan aimed to start the armor of God on a strong note with an opening that had him steal a sacred sword from an African tribe. He evades enemy attacks by jumping onto a treetop and launching onto a ledge. In one take, the stunt failed horribly when the tree branch cracked and he fell. If a hat, bang, I think I'm dying. Right, if you head first, but you make yeah. sure the head hit second, okay? Then what I was your injury? Medical professionals assessed that Chan had suffered injuries to both his skull and brain as a result of the incident. He had to be rushed from the set straight to the hospital to get emergency brain surgery. Thankfully, the operation went well and he was able to keep performing death-defying stunts after only a short delay. Yeah, uh, I'm okay now. Uh, just when I hear some vo high, high voice, my, hear, my ears get hurt. Number four, Dylan O'Brien has a near-death accident. Maze Runner, The Death Cure. Good luck! Gotta move, come on! Dylan O'Brien came within inches of dying three days into shooting Maze Runner The Death Cure. While on set, he was struck by a vehicle during a stunt. He sustained major injuries to his head, including a concussion and brain trauma. The production was only initially shut down for a few weeks. Once the producers learned the extent of O'Brien's injuries, they stopped filming for an entire year. The actor came back and eventually finished the film. It was horrible, it was a very scary thing. But it's, we came back, you know, all got together again a year later. It was like we never left. However, he did step away from the spotlight for several years. The physical and emotional trauma was so severe that he almost considered retiring from acting altogether. Ultimately, I just thought it'd be best to push through all that, you know, and my thinking was that, you know, it would, it would help. Me, I think. Yeah. Number three, Leonardo DiCaprio cuts his hand, Django Unchained. There was a scene where Leonardo DiCaprio, who's so brilliant in the film, actually smashed glass and had a bloody hand and did the scene. One of the most iconic moments of the Tarantino revenge western Django Unchained was a complete accident. In a scene where Jamie Foxx's character is looking to purchase his wife from Leo's slave-owning antagonist, things got bloody on set. DiCaprio's candy angrily slams his hand on a table and breaks a glass during an argument. Don't lay your palms flat on that tabletop! If you lift those palms off that turtle shell tabletop, Mr. Pooch is gonna let loose with both barrels that start off. In reality, the actor had severely cut himself on the item. Instead of breaking character, DiCaprio continued to perform until they had reached the end of the shot. The rumors that he placed some of his real blood on co-star Kerry Washington are thankfully not true. But the production did change the scene to make room for DiCaprio's bloody and violent performance. We would shoot completely bloody with him touching my face with fake blood. Um, and then we had to take everything off and shoot it again totally clean. Number two, Harrison Ford hurts everything. Indiana Jones franchise. Good afternoon, Dr. Jones. I ought to kill you right now. While there are some fan theories that Indiana Jones is invincible, the same cannot be said for star Harrison Ford. In Raiders, an airplane ran over his leg and tore his ACL. A few years later, he suffered a spinal injury while riding an elephant in Temple of Doom. Since he required spinal fusion, director Steven Spielberg spent five weeks shooting with Ford's double from behind. The streak continued in 2021 when the 78-year-old actor was injured on the set of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Harrison Ford has suffered a shoulder injury while working on Indiana Jones 5. The extent of the 78-year-old actor's injury is unclear. While rehearsing for a fight scene, Ford seriously injured his shoulder. The entire schedule had to be reworked for several weeks until the actor made a triumphant return to set. And now, a final triumph. Indy! Give him hell, Indiana Jones! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Tom Cruise's leg collides with a building. Mission Impossible Fallout. Yeah, so you must be nearly finished. It's because I broke you... my ankle. We had to shut down. From jumping out of airplanes to flying helicopters, Tom Cruise is famous for doing his own stunt work. It seems like he ups the ante in every subsequent film by doing increasingly dangerous stunts. But in 2017, Cruise suffered a setback while filming Mission Impossible Fallout. While jumping from one roof to another, he hit a building at the wrong angle and broke his ankle. Production was immediately shut down to give the lead time to recover. I knew I broke it instantly. So you're down. Now anyone else would go, well that's over. No! <laughs> up he gets! <laughs> up he gets! And he's running! According to director Christopher McQuarrie, the delay was a godsend. They used the opportunity to dip back into the script to fix a few problems. Since the film received rave reviews, Cruz's accident very well may have saved the story. I didn't want to do it again. I knew, I knew instantly he was broken and I... I just uh, run past camera, we got the shot, it's in the movie. That Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.